I'm Korean. And I'm Tongan, Fijian, and German. I'm half Filipino and half Norwegian. Uh, I'm half Chinese, uh, Colombian, Sri Lankan. I'm Irish and German on my dad's side and Shanghainese from my mom's side. Uh, one thing I wish people knew about my culture was the, the genuineness and loving uh, care of the Filipino people. It doesn't matter like what you have or what you don't have. If, if you need something, the Filipino people will take the shirt off their back for you. One thing I wish people knew about my culture is that although we might seem or look like big and tough and stuff like that, we're a very uh, welcoming community and um, you know, we're just very engaging with one another. Even You don't even have to be related to us. We'll like call you in to come eat our food and we, we're all about the food. Um, I wish more people knew about the good food because there's way more food than just Bibimbap and Kalbi and Sundubu. <laughs> uh, I want uh, them to be proud of uh, their heritage. Um, just take pride in whatever they do. Uh, confident, be confident. So what I really want to make sure they have is like a connection to both their cultures. I, I want them to feel like they're American, but they're also Chinese. I don't want them to feel like they're either one or the other, and they have to choose. Proud of my culture, but I never fully embraced it until last year when I had the opportunity to go serve the people of the Philippines. And uh, ever since then, I've been, I've tried to better myself and just really em embrace the Filipino culture. I have always been proud of my culture. Growing up, I never really knew much of it. Um, but as the years went on, I believe that it was important for me to recognize my culture and how meaningful it is to my family and um, my roots. And so growing up with um, no knowledge of it, I got to learn over the years. And I even got to travel back to the countries and um, you know, meet new people and see new things and experience um, different things. And I think it's just, um, it's just a culture that I've learned to love and be involved yeah. As of now, I'm extremely proud of being Shanghainese. It's become a really big part of my identity. I'm so honored to be allowed to, to like have this in me. Um, but I wasn't really always proud of it. In middle school, Like if people asked me what race I was, I would kind of just vaguely shrug and not really answer because I didn't want them to know I was Chinese. When I was like in elementary school, I was like, ew. Why is my last name like Kim? That sounds so weird, but now I'm cool with it because I don't care anymore. <laughs> I relate more to being uh, Asian American. My mom was first gen. Uh, she came here uh, when she was 17, um, but I've had a relatively good life. I relate to being more Asian American because I've adapted to American culture more. That's like, I have arguments with my parents because of that sometimes, but it's cool. I feel like I identify a lot with the experience of being first generation because like, I still have this mentality that because my mom has sacrificed so much for me to be in America, I need to do everything perfectly while I'm here. I need to get to be the best at every extracurricular. I need to have great grades. I need to be able to do everything and then some. I was always too tan to be identified as someone in my family in the Midwest and I was always too white to be identified as someone in my family here uh, in the Bay Area and uh, growing up I just kind of didn't know what I fit in with more but uh, I came to the conclusion that like I'm a Norwegian boy that grew up raised Filipino.